Hello all, welcome to channel 11. Today I am going to give some presentation about the creating custom attributes in C Sharp. This is very very basic example. So as per definition wise, the custom attributes is that can be used to store the declarative information and can be retrieved at runtime using reflection concept. So this information can be related to any target element depending upon the design criteria and application needs so the basic is if you want me if you want to retrieve the some custom information for the class properties and so on so you can use attributes function custom attributes using reflection you can able to retrieve that to about you on this so I have created very simple example. I have the own person class. In person class, I have three properties. One is first name, last name, and no attributes properties. If you observe here, I have decorated my property with the data names. So if you observe here, the data names is not a provided by the .NET. This one I have created my own custom attribute if you if i click the f12 i will go to the class here so i will explain this is my custom attribute so it has to be inherited by attribute through a, i have to inherit inherit by attribute let me go left 12 i will go to that as attribute class in that i have created my own custom property that is the value value names it is the list of it will accept a list so it is the value names list and i have the two constructor one is the is without parameters if you see with parameters i have the it is a, i have created one parameter with the array of strings so the strings i am going to adding to that my collections list list collections list this is my custom uh, attribute if you observe here i have mentioned as a property this so i am setting i am declaring this this attribute is applicable for the property so if you see that other values we have all so if you want to apply this property this attributes to all so we can mention all like we have assembly class constructor delegate enum and field field level and generic parameters and interface and methods and so on and i have go to here my person doesn't have any errors here so if you see here so i declared my property as a data names so so as I mentioned here two constructors it has one is with parameters and is one of the is without parameters so with parameter I am passing as a two values one is array one is first name another one is in lower case next one is the with upper case as a first name uh, first letter so that is one of the proper uh, attributes I have mentioned there is another I am passing only one that is one is last name so for a third property, I'm passing. I'm not passing any value. This is empty parent, empty constructor. So, so three ways I have declared my attributes. If you want, to can add one more here. So it will accept. Uh, since it is a list, we can accept anywhere. So I will use so empty uh, empty name. One more property. One more value I have passed on my attributes so let me go to how i need to consume that approach uh, so we have to go. so uh, this is the example i have i'm having so using as i mentioned using reflection we can able to get our custom company custom attributes so so i just uh, so i have the i'm getting type of my object since my my object is person i am i am getting the type from there we have the methods called get properties it's going to get the, all the properties from this class from there i am going to retrieve uh, using link i am going to retrieve only 
retrieve where my custom attributes type of i mentioning so from this class suppose let's make this class have many other uh, attributes so to filter my only related to my custom attributes so we have the where class and from there i am we have the get attributes method it will accept type as well as uh, in inherit if you have any so in the custom attributes i am passing type of uh, custom attribute i am looking to filter from there i am retrieving all the values as a list so this is one line so from so here i am assigning the properties uh, variable so i am going to look through that to the properties list and i will get the single property using for each leaf from this single property i am going to retrieve the name from here i am going to property name is data name attributes so i am filtering the only for my custom attributes where custom attributes list so i will get those i will get those here specific property for the specific property custom attributes so from there if, if it doesn't null property i will get the i will get the values of my custom property based on so once i once i found that list of custom properties so i will this way i can get that and once i convert that i am able to fetch those values so value one is for uh, first name and if it has uh, so all these values i am going to fetch from here so uh, since i have added one more attribute let me go and check that one also so this is one example how to get the properties details using custom attributes so this is example can use for uh, suppose if you want to bind the database database values so let's take example you have the data set you fetch the data set values from the database if you want to bind the all all those values into class so uh, we can use this this example like uh, this is the database column name this is your actual uh, object property name suppose if you want to bind the person uh, values from database to person object this is example we can use so we can mention here the database column name you can mention actual uh, your uh, by actual your class class property using re using reflection you first get that those values and and you can so here you can map map those values from data base to data set to your class property this way we can achieve the uh, this example you can use for that purpose so ultimately this how we can fetch the custom attributes values using reflection so let me go and debug the value debug and let's see how th how these values are fetching So we have retrieved the, all the properties corresponding classes. 
first name last name no attributes and let uh, let me go continue and uh, now we have try to fetch the our first name property uh, property first pro first name property values so we it retrieved the, all the information corresponding first name it has the values of first name our our custom attributes first name these three i have declared for, for my first property like this it is going to fetch remainings also let me go and continue this f5 so these are the my attributes values i have given first uh, first my first property uh, custom attributes like first name first name and empty with the different uh, since case sensitive and one i have uh, declared as a last name only one custom attribute value custom attribute value for the last uh, uh, i didn't i didn't provide any custom attributes so so it is saying no attributes for that i i hope you found some information on this this is since i mentioned this very basic example so you find uh, you find many examples in in google thank you very much have a nice day thank you for watching my video please like it share it and also subscribe my channel for more videos